Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the readings. <laughs> Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the month of June 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's so great to see you guys. Um, yeah, let's just get into this, shall we? Here we go. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Leo for the month of June 2018. Yeah, let's do this, guys. Leo, Leo, pink and green. I'm seeing pink and green energy. So healing um, and moving into a space of unconditional love. That's nice. It's very nice. Forgiveness, understanding. That's, yeah, compassion. Excellent. Excellent, Leo. That's great. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Overall energy, Leo. We have, ooh, okay, the two of swords in reverse. So um, not being stuck, okay? If you've been stuck in um, some sort of energy of being indecisive, feeling like you can't be make a decision, feeling like you, you're, you're stuck somewhere, you're moving out of that energy. Yeah, we've got, ah, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and finally, the Moon. Okay, um, there could be some, some major happenings here with you over the next, over these Moon Cycles um, for this month. Um, I'm not sure if we have eclipses happening in June or July, um, but obviously we're going to have, you know, we have Cycles of the Moon that we're dealing with, so this could be a big month for you, Leo. Um, for some changes. There could be some um, brand new, you could be stepping out in a new material sense with the Page of Pentacles. There could be some new love coming to you, um, some offers of love coming to you with the Queen of Cups. Um, but also what I'm picking up here, um, for most of you Leos, you're standing in your feminine energy, or at least you become more acquainted with your feminine energy, um, which is symbolized by the Queen of Cups here. And so because of that, you don't have to be indecisive. You're, you're moving out of this indecisive energy because of, because of who you know you have come to underst understand yourself as. Um, and there could be some secrets around you. And what I'm picking up here is also the Queen of Cups doesn't always show her emotions. And she tends, to, sometimes she can keep them hidden. Um, and so that's what you could, that could be something you're experiencing right now with the moon, because the moon does symbolize um, uh, secrets. But this could actually really be an emotional time for you, Leo. And I don't mean like an emotional time where it's like you're, you're overdramatic or anything. No, what I mean is you could be really getting in touch getting in tune with your emotions, which is setting you off in a new material sense with the Page of Pentacles. There could also be some sort of message, some sort of offer coming into you in a physical sense in this month with the Page of Pentacles. Let's get into your storyline here. We're starting with the Five of Pentacles, okay? With the High Priestess in reverse. Um, there could be someone around you, Leo, that is feeling like they're left out in the cold. Um, and I want to say that they really put themselves in this position because whatever happened in the past with between you two, they weren't listening to their intuition. And what I'm picking up here is they were not listening to their intuition and they put you out in the cold, but now the tables have turned. And you are not in this indecisive energy anymore, this feeling like you're stuck energy anymore. You are aware of your emotions. You are aware of your self-worth. Um, and you're moving forward with your life. It's like you have a new lease on life now with the Page of Pentacles, and um, they're kind of feeling left out in the cold because you're not really showing any emotion anymore. You could have been showing a lot of emotion in the past, and now it's not happening anymore. And someone is feeling the withdrawal. <laughs> um, I'm really seeing that. And now this could be you, Leo, okay? But what I'm really seeing with the Five of Pentacles and the High Priestess is um, secrets are being revealed in the sense of now someone else or someone is feeling what it's like to be left out in the cold. And it, I feel like it's kind of obvious, like it's not such a secret. And if it's, if it's not like blatantly obvious to the people around, it's blatantly obvious to the person that is feeling this energy right now. Like they really don't have to seek much to understand what's really going on here like it's sh like the energetically at least it is all up in their face <laughs> we've, yeah we've got the three of swords someone's heartbroken guys and it's falling right under the queen of cups and i feel like for you leo you are not the heartbroken one you are the one standing in your power and it's leaving someone else heartbroken with the eight of cups why is this person heartbroken because somebody walked away and we have more moon energy. Actually, we have a lot of moon energy here because the high priestess has the moon in her crown. She's got a crescent moon and a full moon right there. So there could, okay, so what I'm picking up here for Leo for the month of June, either you, Leo, or someone else that is connected with you is learning a lot 
through these moon cycles. It could have started with the Sagittarius moon that we just moved out of, the Sagittarius full moon. Um, and now as we continue down this path this month, the, as we continue through these moon cycles, even into the eclipses that are coming up, there's going to be a lot of illumination. Someone's really going to be learning a lot. But someone is heartbroken because someone walked away. But it's but it, this is the sense. This is in the sense of like it's not like someone was man, maliciously walking away. Someone found their self worth and was like, "I am not playing this game anymore." And now the person that was left in the dust, like in the in the Five of Pentacles energy, is really seeing the error of their ways. <sighs> yeah, we have next. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse with ooh the Nine of Pentacles upright. Excellent, Leo. So I'm definitely seeing that you are the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, and in this sense of you not being in this Two of Swords energy anymore, this indecisiveness, you're also not procrastinating anymore, not taking the time or the extra effort to really overanalyze things in order to see where you came, how you got here and where you're going or what the fruits of your labor are. Instead, you're standing in your independence and your true power and you're saying, okay, well, what's done is done. I really don't need to overanalyze this anymore. I really don't need to look into this anymore. I'm just going to move on with myself and be happy with myself and continue to live my life the way I know I need to. And that is absolutely affecting this other person because with the seven of pentacles in reverse, I am seeing that this person is now realizing that they took way too long to figure something out. They played way too many games. And now this independent woman, man or woman, but in this card, it's a woman, this independent person is taking their independence and is moving on. Period. <laughs> Next, we have the six of wands in reverse with the queen of wands upright. So here you are, Leo, okay, that you're showing up. Um, with the six of wands in reverse, um, okay, someone is seeing that there was an absolute victory within you or within the, whoever this queen of wands is. And they dropped the ball. Um, I'm picking up egoic energy here with the Six of Wands. So, uh, Leo, this could be you. So, so um, in, in you moving away in this power, in your own sense of self, don't let your ego get in the way. Really don't let your ego get in the way. Like, humble yourself a little bit. Because, yeah, it, technically, you're coming out on top in this situation, but it ain't all that good. There is loss here. It's not just loss for this other person. It's loss for you too. Now, you may not necessarily feel like it's a loss anymore because you have gone through so much and you, you know, you, you really healed a lot, which is giving you the power to step away in your own pride and your own power and your own independence. But at the same time, like, humble yourself a little bit. Um... I keep wanting to say that all is not lost here. I still feel like there is still a chance for victory with this Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands in reverse. It just may not look like it right now, but the Six of Wands in reverse is saying you don't have the victory right now. It doesn't feel like a victory, but ultimately this will turn into um, a new beginning, a new start, a victorious situation. All because people are learning. You know, they're going through their process and they're learning their lessons. So, okay. Moving forward, we have, whoa, the King of Wands in reverse. We've got the counterparts here, guys. Okay. So the feminine energy is the Queen of Wands. The masculine energy is the King of Wands. And wow. You guys, look, I, I don't remember which sign it was. I think it might have been Taurus. But the King and the Queen of Wands came out together. And I do want to say this. I tried to start the, uh, the Zodiac readings for the bi-monthlies before that Sagittarius full moon. And then that full moon hit and I just like, I had to hibernate. Like I had to take a break. But one of the readings that I did, the King and the Queen of Wands came out together. And they have been coming out together ever since. Okay. Now, 
The King of Wands is reversed. And I don't know if you can see it here. Maybe like zoom in a little bit if you can. But the King of Wands is looking straight at that Queen of Wands. He knows what he has lost. And the Queen of Wands is looking away. He knows what he has lost. 11-11 on the counter. The Hanged Man. Okay, so this person who, who this masculine energy, whoever is symbolized by this king of wands here in reverse, is taking some time for some self reflection. Okay, this could be a twin flame situation because I did just see 11 11 on the counter. We do have the king and the queen of wands coming out here together, they are the counterparts, they do symbolize um, the divine masculine and the divine feminine within the, um, within the uh, minor arcana, but yeah. Whoever, whoever is symbolized by the King of Wands here is really feeling it. And they're kind of self, they're, they're, they're self-isolating. They're going through this moment of self-imposed isolation so that they can get a different perspective. Because whatever has happened recently has really shaken up their, 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 their foundation. So now they got to kind of figure out like, what, what the fuck just happened? Like, did I just get played? <laughs> yeah. But you didn't, get, you didn't get played by someone else. Ultimately, whoever is symbolized by this King of Wands here, you played yourself. And I really don't want that to sound condescending. It's just, sorry, boo, you played yourself. But now you're getting to see it. Now you're seeing the error of your ways here. You're getting illumination here, so you have a chance to fix it. And if this other person, and if this person symbolized by the Queen of Wands ultimately doesn't come back, then you still fixed the situation, hopefully, so you won't recreate the situation again in the future. Moving forward, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this is speaking to this person that is symbolized by the King of Wands in reverse. You thought you had everything when it comes to physical fulfillment, financial um, material, family, career, but it was all an illusion. Why? Because it was built on lies and deceit. And I'm not, not I am not necessarily not, ooh, sorry guys. I am not necessarily saying that this person symbolized by the King of Wands ultimately had in mind to just cheat everybody around them so that they could get what they want. Now, sometimes the King of Wands in reverse can talk about that. Just going after what you want without any regard to how it's affecting others and even how it's affecting yourself. But that's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying here, there could have been some other people around you that were leading you in this path, making you think this is what you wanted and how you wanted to achieve it. But now whatever has gone on in this situation has shaken you up and you're like, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no, I don't want that. That's not how I want my life to go. That's not how I want everything to work out. That's not the life I want to build for myself. Now, I am picking up that mainly this is for the other person that you that is involved with you, Leo, but it could also be you, okay? Moving forward, we have, oh, yeah, guys, we really could be talking Twin Flames. We've got the Four of Wands, and it is upright <laughs> with the Ten of Wands in reverse. And, okay, so look, guys, I know this is a shaky situation. I know it's probably a real shitty situation. But the Ten of Wands in reverse is talking about how this relationship and the foundation that's been shaken, now we have not gotten the tower, but the foundation that has been shaken is allowing for the release of all kinds of burdenous shit with the Ten of Wands in reverse. And it's allowing for energetic space to be cleared so that Four of Wands foundational energy can be put into place. And this is going to be a much stronger, much more beneficial foundation. I'm also picking up for some of you, this is foundation that is going to attract some sort of new, new family life. Okay, we could be talking marriages. Now the Hierophant didn't come up, but we're, uh, what I'm saying is we're setting, there, there are some sort of foundations that are being set that could lead ultimately to a marriage down the road. I know this sounds, sh I know this feels shitty sometimes, guys. I know this feels shitty, especially for the other person that's that we're talking about here. I know, I know, I know, I know. I can feel your frustration. I can feel your heartbreak. 
But look, you got completions here, guys. You've got two tens right next to each other, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Just get through this period. Everything's going to be okay. Finally, we have, ooh, the Knight of Wands. Someone wants to rush in. So this is, again, this could be you, Leo. Um, this could be another fire sign. Um, but someone has got some real passionate energy, and I'm picking up some pretty lustful energy, too. Like, this is... <clears throat> <laughs> ah, with the three of pentacles. Okay, so someone is really looking to rush in here and make amends and to fix things, okay? Um, they're much more in a, in, a, in, a, in a mindset of wanting to work together with the three of pentacles. This, these are both upright, guys, so this is a really good thing. Um, there could be also, there could be someone that is reaching out to friends trying to get some sort of guidance um, in how to come back to this situation, all right? Um, okay, and so with the moon here, I'm really picking up that all is not lost and all is not as it seems, all right? So Leo, drop the pride and drop the ego, okay? Because yes, technically you're coming out the bigger person in this situation, but this is still a loss for you, all right? Don't get all high and mighty talking about, yeah, you played yourself, now what, but nah, 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 nah. Cut that shit out, because that is not going to help you moving forward, okay? All right. Let's get into some action guidance from the Oracle of Unicorns. Be humble, Leo. And guys, I, I'm only saying this because I love you, and I have a Leo moon, so I know what this is like. Please be humble, okay? Please. Especially if someone is going to come back and start trying to communicate, start trying to fix things, don't start throwing all this past bullshit in their face. It's not worth it. Because really, if they're coming back, they've learned their lesson, and they want to try again. Now, I'm not saying just to take any bullshit from them, but chances are, most likely, if they're coming back to you, they've learned. And they don't need a lecture, all right? If there are things that need to be hashed out, have say your piece, speak your truth, do it respectfully, but then move forward, okay? Okay, let's get some guidance from the unicorns. Ah. Here we go. You got two. You got action and growth. Okay, action. Actually, no, I want to read growth first because that was the first one I saw. So growth, seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. So this is definitely someone, like I said, reaching out to friends to try and figure out how to heal this situation, okay? Now, this could be someone, Leo, this could be someone reaching out to friends of yours that know you, that know how you work, that know how you operate, and this other person is just trying to get, like, help me out here. What, what do I have to do? Okay, how do we fix this? How do we, re, how do we approach this again? But Leo, this could also be you. And I'm feeling like you should probably be working out or reaching out to some people that, whose opinions you really respect in trying to humble yourself. Because I feel like there's a lot of egoic energy here and that's coming from the Six of Wands in reverse. You have a right to feel victorious, Leo. I'm not trying to take that away from you. But at the same time, don't let your ego run away from you, okay? Finally, we have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Okay, look. <laughs> I'm just going to say it like this. Whoever fucked up in this situation, don't sweat the small stuff, okay? Allow this to be a situation where you grow from it. You learn from it. You heal from it, okay? But take action. Now is the time. The door is wide open. You've got the green light. Do it. <laughs> All right, let's get some spiritual guidance. Spiritual guidance, please. One card for Leo for the month of June, Spirit. Thank you so, so very much. So, so very much. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling. I'm just being funny. Here we go. Oh. 
Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm, y'all. We've got spiritual connection. As oh, wow, and it's card number 27. 27 is a very dear number to me. Um, Ascended Master Saint Germain and Amethyst. And Amethyst has become one of my favorite crystals and stones. I have one right here. But here we go. Take a look at that. Isn't that a beautiful card? Spiritual connection. All right, sorry. Please excuse my shakiness. There's a lot of energy running through me. But the first thing I thought of, the first channel, the channel message that's coming through with this card, I am going to read from the book. But you guys, whoever we're talking about here, obviously, look, we've got the counterparts, the king and the queen of wands. We've got the four of, of four of wands. I mean, hello, you guys are connected, really connected, like deeply spiritually connected. And people are starting to learn that now. People are starting to see it. People around you are starting to see it. And the individuals involved here are starting to see it. Let's get into what the book says. And I, I really just read the top um, definition because there's a lot underneath it. Okay. Spiritual connection. We bring you the blessing of spiritual connection. There are times in your on your life path when you will feel alone. If you are working on an issue or going through a challenging time and don't feel particularly supported or that others understand, even though they may love you, then that sense of loneliness may increase for a time. Or perhaps you wonder if you are as spiritually connected as you could be. Perhaps you have been asking for confirmation of your divine connection or for some sort of sign that what you think might be divine guidance is genuine. This oracle comes with a message. You are capable of conscious spiritual connection. And that connection is growing in power every time you talk to the universe through prayer or any act of devotion. You are also being asked to release any barriers around your heart and mind so you can allow the unconditionally loving voice of spirit to be heard in your heart and soothe your mind. Guys, that is so beautiful. So understand, really understand that the things you've been going through, and this is especially for this cross watcher, this person that is um, the king of wands in reverse, this masculine energy, you have, I really feel like I'm picking up that you've been questioning a lot of the signs and synchronicities and intuitive guidance and like that you've been getting and your intuition could be expanding with the moon here and you're starting to notice things, to notice things and experience things you never experienced before and you're like, what the actual fuck is going on? And this is confirmation, okay? Everybody has spiritual gifts. And just because you're a masculine energy and you are more rooted in logic and the 3D reality, you still have the ability to, ha to experience extrasensory phenomena. You still have the ability, the ability to connect with the divine and you have been doing it and you are continuing to do it. So please, trust your intuition, trust your gut, trust your heart, trust what is coming through. But also... Make sure, make sure that you're protecting yourself energetically and you are reaching out to beings of love and light who wish to assist you on your path, okay? Also, I would highly recommend that um, Leo and people that, the people, the cross watchers or the people that are, are connecting with this, with this reading, get some amethyst because that will also help you strengthen your spiritual connection. It will help you open your uh, crown chakra. It will help you open your third eye chakra also. Okay? Some amethyst and uh, clear, quartz. Ooh, clear quartz crystal. Okay, the clear quartz crystal is going to help you release um, energy. It's also going to help you ground yourself. And the, the amethyst is going to help you open up your spiritual gifts and your higher chakras. All right, so there it is, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Yeah? Bye.